Yes. Never thought I would be so out of material that I'm watching a YouTube video about you know, Drew Barrymore. Welcome back to Rewind with B. Schwitty, because behind every perfect man, there's a perfect woman. So, we're going to be talking about Drew Barrymore today. Um, and I just want to get this out of the way. I love Drew Barrymore. I loved e. her in E.T., uh, Charlie's Angels, The Wedding Singer. Um, she's recently killing it in Santa Clarita Diet. I highly recommend watching that on Netflix. But now she owns a winery, and she's a winemaker. No, she doesn't own a winery. She owns a label from a winery, I think. It's called Barrymore Wines by Carmel Road. And uh, there's Pinot Noir, uh, Pinot Grigio, and a rosé of Pinot Noir. And this is their tagline. Wine is all about the journey. The discovery of new wines, new regions, and new vintages is what keeps wine exciting to novices and enthusiasts alike. For Drew Barrymore, the allure of that journey and the chance to create an offering to share with her family and friends propelled her to delve into the world of wine. A fan of crisp, fruity white wines, Barrymore has created a wine that is perfect for sharing and making memories around the table. So today on Wines Down Wednesday, I saw this video going around in an interview for Vogue, I think it was. I found it on r slash wine on Reddit. Obviously there was the classic misogynist comments about it but overall it it seems like it's pretty cringeworthy to watch um so i'm going to do a try not to laugh slash try not to cringe challenge and um we're going to give it a go with with drew barrymore's guide to rose the right way by vogue yes Never thought I would be so out of material that I'm watching a YouTube video about you know, Drew Barrymore. Shall we? Okay, what is your style, Drew? Okay. Yeah, girls love pink, I guess. I I mean I've I've learned a lot with with cocktails too old fashions I feel like those are weird pairings Although I haven't had her wine yet so um Okay, I'm going to pause it. I know that's not part of the challenge, but... Um, <laughs> I think that's one. Now, I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm almost through. I'm almost through. I'm almost through. But wow. Wow. I made it a minute and 54 seconds to this. Maybe it should just be how long we can watch this. Um... Uh, I was almost there. Without feeling heavy or hungover. Kind of important. Cheers to this, toast to that. Cheers, Drew. Be celebratory about it. Life is short. <clears throat> oh. 
Okay. I got through that pretty easily. I'm surprised. So I'm going to actually look up what she has in store for us on her website. Very more wines, I think it was. Okay, I know there is. I Did I cringe? I may have cringed a few times, but I'm pretty sure I made it through. It's only laughing once, and that was right at the end, because I'm an idiot. All right, here's her inspiration. I've been a longtime lover of Pinot Grigio as uh, someone who loves a light perennial, beautiful wine. It's just always has been one of my favorite wines. I know for me as a wine drinker, first impressions is really important. And it was one of the reasons that for this label, I actually put my grandfather's crest because I thought if you did gift this wine and you brought it, it looked like something that wasn't overly feminine, but it was just more of a timeless gift something that looked good on your shelf. And I think about the presentation of wine because it's something okay. that you remember that that person gave you. You bring them into that experience. Wines are perennial. You create a memory. Um, I think that wine has that amazing ability to be something that is so in tandem and synonymous with memories. Yep. Okay, made it through that one too. Uh, yeah, wine, perennial. It is every year, isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. I do I, I I do want to try her wine. It it'll be interesting. Although this one's Drew's blend Pinot Noir. So she doesn't even get her own Pinot, she just gets the rose and the um for maybe the fifteen's her first vintage in in having the label or something. Wow, I, let's do one more. Alright, here's one with Drew Barrymore. Here's something people don't know. Wine I wear a headlamp when I read books in my bed at night, and I look like a weird miner. This might be the wrong way. What inspired me to get into the wine business wine. was that it's true to the way I live my life, especially with the girlfriends. The fact that it was what we did sitting around a table on a Sunday afternoon, enjoying a bottle of wine and just each other's company and conversation. It's very associated to me with what wine does, which I do think it brings people together. It does, it absolutely does. My partner Chris Cotto and I, in making the wines, picked Pinot Grigio and Rosé because it is varietals that are very true to the wines that I've drank with my girlfriends throughout my life and what I've really enjoyed since falling in love with wine after the age of 21. And we also made a Pinot Noir that was very inspired by Pinot Neros and Beaujolais and spicy notes of certain Malbecs or Argentinian or Spanish wines. I just made Sorry, a she just said she made a um, Pinot a that ago. was. Um, I never thought I'd do that, but it was fried okay. in this amazing Mexican salt, and it was in a Bloody Mary. It wasn't bad. I would say that. I'm very proud of the fact I'm that I'm just going to take this moment to say, Drew, please come on my show. Like I'd love and to have grapefruit. you on my show. We With could talk wine. We could have some rosé and um, melons, apricots, not 
that Not doesn't do, finish sweet. Do whatever this, um, this that is has right this here. This beautiful light and dry aspect that makes you want to keep drinking it. We made our first vintage of the rose um, as uh, 2015, and now we are presenting our second vintage of 2016 and I'm just as proud if not more than That's I am pretty cool. of our foray into rosé which I as a rosé lover and connoisseur and absolute passionate customer of am ever so proud of. A wine that to be I would fair, really I love failed at my first rosé back in 2014 on is Chardonnay and 15. because I find it so important and fascinating. And why I can't would I make rosé? It's so to easy. Conquer as a winemaker, Drew Marion always made rosé. To make a Chardonnay for people who are uh, less drawn to an oakiness. I loved going to the south of France um, and drinking, obviously, rosés. Um, from nearby areas. I loved going to Santa Emilion. Uh, Echo, turn on recording definitely lights. Definitely that region of wine I really, okay. really am drawn to. I'm dying to go to like Argentina and be like going like, get out of my way to a, like a flock of sheep in the road and being in an old car. I like see myself <sighs> in like a Citroen <sighs> car. That's my fantasy. So much cringing. I really love traveling the West Coast for wines, obviously. No, nope, can't do it. Sorry, sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't. So, um, if you can make it further in all of, all of Drew's interviews as, as a winemaker, please go ahead and, and tell me how far you get. Um, yeah, uh, uh, just, just right now I'm going to say uh, every time I jimmed the camera, that's the and then maybe the squint. Uh, that's that's my version of a cringe. So uh, let's just be honest here. I lost. I lost that challenge. I I both laughed and I um, I cringed. I cringed a lot, and I I don't know why I, I thought I would wouldn't. Um, I thought I was a better person than that. I thought maybe i was more evolved but if you made it through this without cringing please let me know in the comments below am i just underestimating the winemaking prowess of an actress that I... if you've made it without cringing or laughing during this video either at drew or me uh please let me know in the comments below if you didn't tell me how far you got i i honestly thought i would do better i just Wow. Wow. But f I do really want to hunt down this Drew Barrymore wine. I, I like her. She's a good actress. She went through a lot. Uh, and she's, she's a winemaker now. She has her own label. That's, that's pretty cool. So please comment, like, share, subscribe, something. I don't know. Whatever. Please. Do whatever you feel like because I do not, I don't control you. I'll catch you next time. Uh, Friday we're doing something, don't know what it is.